one of the things that we're trying to push with this um, <laughs> special issue is well, we're to doing be a special useful issue. resource. So we're asking our authors um, to think about recommendations they have now that they've reviewed whatever they've done. So for example, if they've done a review on dyadic interviews, um, not just raise the issues that are pertinent, but what seems to be effective, what would they recommend. And maybe I'll say a word about the theory component, because yes. it is the Journal of Family Theory and Review, and we had discussions about how to integrate that. So we're hopeful that people can talk about how qualitative work really does inform good theorizing, and that it's difficult to develop theory without qualitative work, but it's not only something that's used at the front end, but it can also be used in all phases of the research process. Mm -hmm. The pieces we're anticipating for this special issue are not original reports of qualitative research. Okay. It, it should be um, discussion of particular methodology, like using the internet for collecting qualitative research, or, okay. or Skype, or data analysis software, or interviewing children, or those sort of techniques. We have invited um, several uh, very uh, say very established researchers and theorists in the field to submit pieces about the history of qualitative work, about multiple interviewers, um, and other issues that are sort of particular to our field. And all of us are engaged in teaching courses in qualitative methods or advising students who are using qualitative research designs. So frustrations <laughs> about what's available in the field to guide students and researchers in qualitative methods, I guess, are what really spurred us. Okay. And particularly with a family studies focus, that there's lots of uh, dialogue about qualitative methodology that happens outside family studies, and there are some unique aspects of doing qualitative research in the family studies field that there doesn't seem to be the same kind of dialogue or resources available for us to use for ourselves or for our students. The crystallization of the idea came when you did a, a presentation uh, last year mm -hmm. on teaching mm -hmm. right. qualitative research, is that right? Yeah, Yeah, and I, Elizabeth organized that. That panel was about what should we be teaching the next generation of scholars, yeah. which fundamentally gets to major issues in the field, right? Uh, yeah. So it's to, it's to underscore um, where we are right now um, and, you know, what... Um, you know, how, what is good science? I personally have had some experiences with uh, the review process and reviewers talking about um, that a fundamental flaw of my study would be uh, that the sample size was too small, but it was inherent in the design. I guess we hope that it is a useful resource for students and researchers and people who are training students as well that will elevate the quality of qualitative research right. in the family field. So I'm really excited that we are having this special issue, and I've been very pleased with the um, response we're getting. Um, it it, it uh, offers me some optimism. Good. My hope is that, it, like my co-editors, that this special issue will be a resource for those who teach about qualitative research, for qualitative researchers themselves, but also an opportunity for certainly the dialogues that the three of us have had in leading up to this, that some of that um, comes out in, in the special issue and that, that dialogue can be further expanded to include uh, more scholars in discussing those tensions in the future and Great. what qualitative research is going to look like. We obviously know there's a lot of pioneers, you know, Jane and um, Ralph and La Rosa and Carrie Daly and Catherine Allen. I mean, I don't want to right. name in case I right. forget someone. So it's, it's not like we're coming from nowhere. We mm -hmm. definitely understand that. And Obviously, some of our seasoned authors, that's why they're in the... We've invited them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I want it to be clear that we are... Um, we know we're not forging a new path or anything. We just want to keep it... Um, we want to keep the energy. But I think it's great that you are, you are, you know, you're a generation younger than me, at least, and here you're going. I mean, you're, you're going after the Big Apple again, which I think is really wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. great. Yeah. New kinds of research. Or new approaches to research. Yes, yeah, that's what I mean. But new, but you, are you going to just talk about them methodologically or are you going to have people actually illustrate them?
there's some room where there might be some to bring in an illustration, for example, but it's certainly a few pieces we're anticipating, especially sure in our original is, is using one of the types of grounded theory or uh, taking the same question but uh, looking at it through like phenomenology, ethnography, um, and grounded theory, or, or like a combination thereof and seeing how that same question would be worded differently. You'd have to collect data differently. Mm -hmm.